I have a strike right now. I got two community guidelines. Yeah, yeah. I got you. Don't worry. I'll make sure she has no call. Finally, bro. What's up, Jerka? What up? What up? Uh, how'd you You're guys muted. meet anyway? You guys... You're muted, bro. He doesn't. Oh. Yeah, I was going to say, how did you guys meet? Me and Sneeko? Yeah. I, mean, I don't even know. Twitter? You just, like, you just, yeah, Twitter. You just find people who are not soft. You know? Before I got you, suspended. Yeah, you end up. I actually suspended you. Are you permanently gone now? Permanently, yeah. I tried to get it back, and because you know, I, I tweeted "kill yourself" back in 2016, and I didn't delete those tweets. So that, that's shit. Shit. Oh, that's what they. I, it was, you it was for. for two things. It was one for challenging Lasanabi to a fight, saying I'm going to break your face, <laughs> and the second one was saying "kill yourself" in 2016. Wait, how much do you uh, weigh, bro? 160. You, <laughs> 165. I, I swear, you'd still beat him. I swear. That, that's that, that was the, why. That's what I said in the tweet. You weigh 70 pounds more than me. I'm still going to win. Yeah, it was that and, and took Killers. So, yeah, I'm done. Um, but also, there's a nice Twitter account, at Sneeko Clips. You can click the link in the chat right now if you guys do want to follow some guy who's really funny. Uh, that's not me. Wait, Sneeko, are, you, are you, you signed with Rumble? Uh, yeah, I've been contacted. Yeah, we've been in contact. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. What does sign with Rumble mean? What do we what, tell me? I'm not signed. I don't have equity over the company. Um, there's other creators on there that probably have equity, and that's why they're pushing it so hard. I'm not going to say. Um, but yeah, I've been in contact with the uh, with Talisman Tank. Okay. No, no, no. Different, different. Yeah, but, but they would different red pill. Sneaker, what, what have, do you mean? You said uh, you said in a clip you're like, I've always been red pill. I used to be a four chan kid. What do you mean by that? I was back on poll. I was back on slash B back in the day. I was reading, and you you were four chan. Why would too? you? No, no. I wouldn't. Why would you admit that live? Are you crazy? Because everybody's saying that I'm a grifter. Ass. People are saying that I'm just doing this for clout. When even though you get banned, I never you're not supposed to talk about Kekistan, bro. That's rule number one. They're gonna come after you now. They're gonna come after me. They're fucking libs. Uh, they already come out of me. I don't give a fuck. And look, the whole liberal, all of them are fucking touching each other's titties and exposing each other and gambling. Mm. They're shitty people. No one cares anymore. Yeah. It's a wrap. Like, <laughs> how are they going to try to cancel me when they cancel each other? So, 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 so what happens now? What happens now? Wait, I know, Sneeko, there's people who try and jump you in public because you're in New York, right? No, they didn't try to jump me in public. I was doing a short film and I had, uh, I was had makeup on my face to make it look like I jumped. Took a picture and then everybody on Twitter started jumping that, around that celebrating. Was oh, that, that was wasn't real? No, that, that was for a movie. Oh, that was shit. a documentary that I shouted you out and you clearly didn't watch it. No, I swear I did. And when you put uh, me with the greats, you put Trump and Alex Jones, the Mount Rushmore of Red Pill, and then you put my name. I thought it was too much. That was the greatest compliment. Yeah, that, that was that was I too much. That. I was drunk. But yeah, yeah. But I, I just No, because I could video. tell when you said when you shouted me out, you didn't even know who I was. You just threw yeah, a, yeah, yeah. another name in there. I was like, this little yeah. bitch, man. New, yeah, you were new, happy about it. I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Yo, Sigs inside is crazy. New, new OTK tweet. What do you say? Share it. Uh, I did. I shared it. It's, when OTK was formed nearly two years ago, we strived to create a gaming organization that embodied our values, creators. Share your screen. Share your screen. Share my screen. Jesus, this guy. Yeah. Oh okay. shit! Mizgif took it off his banner. Is he not with OTK now? Yeah, yeah. So. Uh, when OTK was formed two years ago, we started to create a gaming organization that embodied our values, creators, gamers, and individuals. Yesterday evening, a series of clips and content service relating one of our founders due to seriousness of what's been brought forward. We began the process of contracting a third-party legal organization to investigate the issue in detail. In the meantime, Miskiff has been placed on leave and will be stepping away from his organizational duties pending the results of the investigation. OTK strongly condemns sexual harassment, assault, and bigotry of all forms. We appreciate your support. And during this... W. Well, I don't know. I don't care. Jeez. I think Ms. Kiff, There's uh, e Ethan decline. What did he say about it? Miskiff tweeted, my statement, twit longer. Whoa. We found Crazy Slick. He has not armed himself. After hearing from Adriana and the numerous other women who have shared their experience with him, it's clear that he's not the person he made himself out to be. In terms of living situations, Slick has been told to vacate our house as soon as possible. Appreciate and support those who have brave enough to come forward with their stories about his behavior. A little while after Slick's misconduct came to light last year, I made some inexcusable statements. On Hold up. On an alt stream, after some chat message got to me, to Adrian, all those affected by sexual harassment, I'm sorry for the statement. Sexual harassment, regardless of degree, can ever be considered small. And while my intention was to clarify a misleading chat message, I chose my words poorly. My response came off as downplaying, which should never be downplayed. Additionally, a series of private messages from 2018 have been posted where I said some rep reprehensible things. I've been open about past many times on stream and will address it again here. I was a dumb, edgy guy who said a lot of stupid things. My friends try to come off as funny and cool. I can't change what I've said, but I can change 
who I am, how I conduct myself. I'm proud of how much we've grown these past four years, but I know there's always room to improve. Sorry to everyone affected by the situation. I make bad judgment calls based on what I was led to believe, and I deeply regret it. I also want to apologize to OTK, our staff, and our partners who put their trust in me every day to represent our organization the best way I can. OTK has informed me that the organization is in the pro process of contracting a third party to investigate the actions above. During this time, I'll be taking a leave of absence and stepping away from organizational duties. Damn. That's train, crazy. Train, well, trains also, nuke, also, man. Uh, Holy shit. Get your bread online. Just get your bread making your videos. But as soon as you have an organization attached to your name, these are the streamers are going to try to cancel you. They're going to try to say, hey, this, when you said the N word five years ago, it's not worth it. Just well, fuck it, man. The, these streamers were gambling with Pokemon cards, and that was good for their childlike audiences. So they didn't have a problem with that. Now they're going after a train and slots because of okay, Slicker, wait, wait. who's a sports better. It makes no sense. Yeah. There was there was a message in there that said like all sexual harassment's the same. That's that's no, not true. Right? That's that's not true at all. That's not true. Like there's there's different levels. That's just the reality. People won't say it because it's like a soft subject, but like there's definitely different levels. No, there's I met I met Adriana in person. Uh, she housed me. She picked me up from the airport and she told me in person all of that. It's wild. Really? She told you that? Yeah. And, you know, everyone's saying, yo, she's just uh, farming clout. She never leaked it. Someone else did on my podcast. A different girl. Like, Adriana never even leaked it, which is like, she probably should have, but. So she talks about it all the time. Well, now she does. Uh, one of her friends leaked it, Novaru, and then Adriana started uh, talking about it on stream. So <laughs> people Donos are getting crazy. That essay Dono must hit, though. What is it? What do they say? I mean, every time I tune in for a second, she's getting a lot of like, she's, oh, thank you for the dono. I'm doing better. I'm, this is going towards my trauma. No, it, it, I mean, this girl works like an, a day job. Like, I'm, I'm glad she's oh, getting all that. Oh, because like, why wouldn't you, you know? She, why wouldn't you? Remember, Sneeko, she didn't go live and say, guys, I was assaulted. Someone else. Oh, so who, who exposed it? A Novaru, right? This okay. other E girl. Wait, I thought the person who leaked it was Train. No, no, this is one year ago. Train just reminded everyone. Ah, it's the world. The worst shit happens in the world. Yeah, this has already been covered on Twitch, but Train added Miz to it now. Which Jordan, Miz, why did you get banned on Twitch in the first place? I got banned permanently on my first week for being uh, toxic. My second ban, someone flashed tits, and that was the second perma ban. Train reversed that perma ban. And then the third one was a four-month ban, and they sent me an email saying it was an accident. But they I'm the only MAGA channel on Twitch, so they really didn't like me in the beginning. And then uh, when everyone met me, they're like, oh, he's a great guy. Now now they like me again. I don't know. Yo, Arab, you could add that, the, the bitch you got fucked in the call? Who? Oh, oh, I don't think she actually got fucked. I'm getting word that she didn't actually get fucked today. Okay. That's an old clip. Sure. It's an old so clip? <laughs> Apparently, yeah. Oh, okay. So she, she still did it. it. She did it twice and got away with it once. Do I delete it? It's at 40k views in 30 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> do I delete it or what? What's the right thing to do here, boys? Let's see how many how many likes did it get? Just it's be shitty. Just likes. just keep being shitty. Everyone's trying to upkeep their image too much. Just keep it up. At the end of it's the day, much. at the end of the day, what she's doing is pet million. What she's doing is pedo shit. Like there's kids who saw that. No, come on. That's not fair to say it's pedo shit. Oh, really? Would you want your kid to tune into Twitch and she's just getting bam, bam, railed? Look, 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 look. but like, come on, Zerka. First of all, she's not big. She's tiny. She's just getting, look, come on. Just don't call her a pedo just because she got fucked on Twitch. Like, you, when did you start watching porn, Zerka? Think about, no, actually, no, no, that's a good point. When Aaron, did you start watching porn? No, like, come on. When he's 12. But you know, think about this. Wait, 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 wait. If Zerka had a child audience and he put his dick out on the stream, <laughs> wouldn't people call him a pedo? Yeah, they would. Don't you see the double standard that if you're a girl and you get naked on stream, nobody calls you a pedo, but if you're a dude... Yeah. I, I wouldn't call him a fucking pedo. She's clearly on the Lolita Express, dude. On the Lolita Express? What the fuck she, is she's that? She's on Epstein Island, man. <laughs> I'm okay, kidding. Well, I'm but kidding. That's a good point. Yo, we're going to get sued. We're joking. We're comedians. If Zerka whipped his dick out right now, you yeah, wouldn't watch, call watch him a pedo? Yeah, watch, watch this. Arab, Arab, watch this. Do it, pussy. Arab, I don't, I don't get how it's not pedo shit. How is it not? I, I don't know. That's this is unfair. So what is like? That's bro, a bad point, bro. bro. When did you, Zerka? When did you start watching porn? I'm, I'm really late because I was like 17, late bloomer. Like I lost it at nine. Yeah, I lost it one month before my 20th, my V card. I'm late to all. I was probably porn, bro. Like 10. 
Eight, nine, or ten. Oh, stop! That, that really? is degenerate. Yeah, Holy like shit! Yeah. Holy fuck! What? I started, watching, I started watching porn on YouTube back in the day. Wait, you YouTube actually a, were well, touching like, though? Had videos, right? <laughs> well, how do you touch it at ten? That doesn't make any sense. What, what do you? It's in the same place it is now. But it, you, you, I, I couldn't get stiff till like seventeen. Like uh, I went late through puberty. Wait, so you wait? You never had that experience where like you you first bust a nut? Like I didn't even know about nut until like three nope. years of being my meat. Sneeko, the first time I fapped, right? Don't judge me. I never even touched my dick. I rubbed. I I fingered the top of it uh, on top. What's that? The connects to the cock. So you I didn't oil I, change. I no. I kept I kept doing this fingering myself, and then I busted, and I felt so guilty. Like I felt the shame of God. It was crazy. It hurts, bro. Yo, Jacob it was hurts. rubbing his clit, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> You're fucking sick. <laughs> wow. No, but 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 wow. Come on, especially if you're if you're titled like mature audiences, like your content's clearly fucking older. Nah, that's that's unfair. I just don't think it's the same. Like it's a different. What do you have? Big, what's the argument though? Everywhere. How is it not the same? If you're trying to smash, we're not gonna get in the way. If you want to fuck her, go ahead, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> get in the way. But she's doing some pedo shit. Oh, pedo, pedo, someone who like messages kids and says like. Let's meet up type okay, shit. Okay, well, okay, Arab. If I ran into like uh, into a park where there's kids and I started, do, you know, whipping my clothes off and yeah. shit, that is yeah, that pedo? Yeah, that's different. Bro. Yeah, it's just a park with kids. It's a public it's just... platform, bro. It's a park. Which is the biggest park? I just think pedo's pedo's such a massive word. Like you're gonna look at that girl and call her pedo because she got fucked on stream. You think she's a pedo? No, I think that her content is pedo. Yeah. I don't know. That's a that's a that's a big. What about people on Pornhub? That's a that's not Twitch. <laughs> that's for mature audiences. It's supposed to be at least. Uh, which is people are clicking it at fucking thirteen. You click. But it it's at 12, supposed so. to be. It's supposed to be for mature audiences. Twitch yeah, is but, marketed. But, but Twitch is your, marketed for children. But on your Twitch, you can market it as mature audiences. No, but there's no ninja driving kids to Pornhub. There's no what? There's no there's ninja. No ninja the there's no ninja home. bringing kids to the fucking born up. There's no like, hey poggers, let's go to let's go to this website. It, it's yeah, marketed towards I, kids. Arabs, Arabs a simp. <laughs> you must yeah, have I'm, talked to Arab. I just don't like the double standard. I think that in the same scenario, if a guy's getting naked on camera live on a stream, they're gonna call him out for that. They're gonna say it's creepy. Yeah, they will. But girls, yeah. girls, they never get considered creepy, and they never get called out for doing creepy shit because they are objects of beauty, Dude. and we're disgusting objects. She got True. like a se is she got a seven day ban, and Gideon's is like permanent. It makes no yeah. sense. Yeah, that no, shit's yeah. wild. And Gideon's actually call? entertaining. This girl's very boring. Like she's extremely boring. Yeah, but she gets fucked. So okay, <laughs> you're yeah. just. I think you're jealous. I think we're DMing her. What's, her. <laughs> what's her Instagram though? Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it's just so I can like shame her for being for being a pedo. Stop! Come on. I'm just gonna go in the you DMs and call her bad person. You're going that far to it? No, that's cyberbullying. Don't do that. Cyberbullying pedos though. So I mean, hey. I mean, you can tell. Do you think she cared? <laughs> so, 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 so. Question: What about like, what about the girls in the hot tubs? Are they pedos? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. What's what about you, Sneego? What's your opinion? No, no, I don't think either are pedos, but I just don't like the fact that we don't call that out. And I think if a guy was getting half naked that's, with this shirt, that's fair. That's a good. That's, that's what I don't good. like. But they're not pedos, but because girls I mean, can't really be pedos, I don't think. No, no, but uh, all right. Let's just put that word aside. Are they not preying on weak men with very bad mental health? Yeah. Yes. yes. Yeah. Okay. They are. Yeah, for sure. There's nobody denying that. No, nobody's denying that. But like, when you were 16, you just wanted to bang your teacher. So yeah, true. Wanted to bang that me. is way too true, bro. That is. <laughs> She, she wanted me, bro. My English teacher wanted me for sure, bro. She like every cool. every dude wants to bang his hot you wanna, teacher. You want to feel something creepy. Have you ever met a teacher when you're an adult and they try to smash you? No. Oh, yeah, me neither. Me neither. A teacher. Wait, tell that story now. You already told your <laughs> flick in the clit story. I want to hear this one. No, no, no. I, like, yeah, I've talked to Milf's Zerka, but, but a teacher. Okay, have, you've never met teachers at the bar when you're an adult and they were like... I don't go to the bar, bro. Okay. That's I'm, a wrong... Yeah, what you guys got to remember is only. teachers need to pee. They need to be paid much less for fucking up the youth. 
What? Repeat, repeat what you just Beca- said. They fu- uh, the teachers that. fuck up the youth, right? They're fucking right. up the youth. That's where it starts. They need to okay. be paid less, less money. Teachers need to be paid less. Yes. Why? Because they they, they teach is, they they, they teach, teach like thirty k a year. Look at look at all Zoomers. All their problems come from what they learn in their from their dumbass teacher. Yeah, but they're not the ones being told what to teach. It comes from. Wait, is this a MAGA yeah. opinion? Paying teachers less? No, no, no. This is just my opinion. <laughs> okay, they already get paid like what forty k a year. Yeah, it's got to be ten. Bu- it's got to be ten. It's got to be less. <laughs> what? You saying it's got to be ten? Yeah, because they, they as soon as the liberal eight hundred bucks a month. No, no, but look at this. As soon as all liberal teachers quit, quit teaching, the world becomes a better place. Mm. Right. Okay, well, where, where are the kids going to go? They, they don't even need school. They can watch Dragon Ball and learn masculinity, right? The, the problem is their, mascul- their masculinity is being punished at an early age. That's the problem. Zerko, what the fuck are you saying? I'm saying it starts at the educational system, that brainwashing. But, but I'm lost. Okay, if you I'm both lost. had a kid, would you feel comfortable with what they're learning in school today? I honestly am probably going to homeschool my kids. Okay, so what do you argue? With, with a private tutor. Yeah, 100%. I, okay, I get what you're saying. That the shit they're teaching in school is fucked these days. Yeah. Yeah, I think school is useless. Wait, so I think you're, I think, Jerko, are you watching libs of TikTok and seeing the gay pride flag teachers and then that's how you're lumping in all teachers right now? I mean, yeah, I, I also blame okay. the right wing. I feel like they're really soft now. They're very Mike Pence in their temperament. And you guys got to remember, think of the times you had the best mental health. It was the times you were the most masculine. And the times you were the least masculine, you just took it on the chin. You were extremely depressed. They are attacking. They didn't. Nobody cares about Donald Trump's political takes. T- uh, taking Trump off the internet is an attack on masculinity and the revolutionary spirit. They don't want people to have Trump's temperament. They don't really care about his policies that much, right? A lot of people think it's about a wall and stuff. That's not what it is. The ruling class has never worried about other countries invading them. They've worried about their people gathering yeah. together. In yeah. their masculine collective and saying, nah, you're not fucking us over. What do you mean? I got to close down my shop, my mom and pop shop, my little Korean shop, but McDonald's doesn't get to close down during COVID. Facts. They, they, they start, no parents can, no parents can reprogram a child once they start going to elementary and high school because everyone wants to be popular. So they're like, like, look at everyone who wore a dress that didn't want to, even on Twitch. Wearing a dress is like the norm. It's the ritual to be cool now. Yeah, it's you're going to be fired up right now. Did X- you ever have a picture? Of, I, my, my sister put me in a dress when I was like three. That's fine. I'm saying like when you're an adult. My, my people still wear dresses. Word? I'll go grab it right now. Man, this guy is this guy's deep state, man. This guy's a He's fan. joking, right? He's part of the Great Reset. Oh, yeah. He's with Klaus Schwab. Yeah, how how uh, conspiracy are you? I feel like we agree on a lot. Sneego, you'd be surprised, and it sounds like I'm being cocky. My channel is the only channel that has received hundreds of thousands of dollars for being way deeper than Alex Jones. We go way deeper. We go to Black Magic, Flat Earth. I sent you a video, I think. Flat Earth? Oh, we go. Cra- if we do a one on one, Sneego, that's I'll, not a dress. I will that's fine. Co- this is a dress. That's a dress? That's yeah, not a dress. Yeah. No, that's fine. I'd wear that. I don't mind that. I think that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. Nah. That's fine. Really? It's not I was ready to hit my bumble clap button, but that's that gets a uh, Aluak bar. That's fine. <laughs> yeah, hey, this is the yeah exactly. That's that dress. Arab, yeah. you're a Christian, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Wait, no, so I, did you know Zerka's flat Earth and black magic? Yeah, Zerka? yeah. I go deep. Zerka goes deep. I didn't know he's flat Earth and black magic. I like I like listening to him just chat shit, bro. I don't, I don't I would, get that. Teachers actually, should be paid less. Is funny as fuck. Wait, wait, explain to me. Explain to me Zerka's in five senses. Zerka's an entertainer. In five senses, why the Earth is flat? Okay, my first thirty thousand follower gain was beating Destiny in a flat Earth debate. It popped me off. I wiped the floor with this guy, and then we became friends. But uh, I can explain it in five seconds. Okay. Right, what is it. your issue with flat Earth, Sneeko? Let's go. What is my issue with flat earth? Why doesn't it make sense to you? Because the moon's round and the sun is round. Right. And can a plate be round? Round or is it a circle? 
It's can a, it's can it, a, a sneak okay, go, a can spirit, a plate spirit. be... Yeah, so you're saying the moon is a sphere even though we've never seen the dark side of the moon. Okay, sure. You've only ever seen one side of the moon. Remember, right. curvature calculations of 8 inches per mile square. At 100,000 feet, you should be able to see curve. You've only ever seen curve from, from a fish eye lens. You've never seen curve, oh, no matter how oh, high. Oh, there oh, it oh. is. There it is. He knows what I'm talking about. But you know, this is a topic for another time. The point I'm trying to make is it's an attack on masculinity. That's why they don't Flat want Earth is an attack on masculinity? No, no, no. <laughs> Every problem on Earth starts with the teachers and mainstream media, but really teachers. Or every okay. problem in the West. So, so you convince me on flat Earth, but flat Earth. I'll do this on a one-on-one. -on -one, okay, I have got no, videos for you. Yeah, no, come on, explain it. Arab's ready. All right, I'm ready for this because 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 I want to believe in the flat Earth too. Okay, why do you believe in magical space Wi-Fi sending photos a hundred million miles away because to I'm Mars? About. You believe in Mars rover, right? Yeah. Why? Because we've been taught it, teachers. Mm something to think about <laughs> okay continue right so again when you google pictures of planets from space right right these are cgi pictures of planets in space. every picture of space is cgi how can you argue that they're all photoshopped, they're all photoshopped. hmm operation fishbowl dominic operation fishbowl dominic Dominic in Latin is of the Lord. Fishbowl of the Lord. They sent rockets, nukes into the dome. They're trying to crack the dome. Do you not? You do you not do your Google's? So what about what about gravity? How do you explain gravity? Yes, things rise and fall because of density and buoyancy. Right? If it's denser than the air, it'll fall like the apple from the tree. But where's gravity with a weather balloon? Let's say a helium balloon. Is helium a magical element that it just defeats gravity before the theory of gravity because it's not like the boiling point of water which is a fact it's a theory before the theory it was density and buoyancy and sometimes aerodynamics depending on how the object shaped but that's all that explained before so masonic science before free masonic science that's how they explain how things rise and fall you believe in the moon landing, that they played golf on the moon with the most corrupt president, Richard Nixon. They spoke on a landline telephone, you fucking retard. You think they went to the moon? So because Sorry. he was that fisheye lens, he's Guys, flat. guys, I have a video of Stanley Kubrick admitting on tape he faked the moon landing, and he said, this video will come out when I die. I have the video. What's that from Room 237? Oh, you are good. You are really good. Wow. Yo, Arab, Miss Kip responded. Can you play that? He didn't respond. I think it's just a fucking twit longer. He's apologizing more. Is he? Yeah, the stand. I, I do think the moon landing. I'll agree with you. I think the moon landing was fake. That's like my my most based. That's as deep as it goes. Oh, you, got, you got to really look at Admiral Byrd, right? Admiral hey. Byrd, first person to travel to Antarctica. He said there's more land the size of North America. No, it's the same one. Miskip didn't respond. It's the same thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, let's stay on the Twitch topics, though. Let's not get conspiratorial right now. Cause I'm, I'm, we're liking it. My chat's liking it. They're saying W Jerker right now. Oh, so, okay. They go hard on that? Okay. Okay, let's, okay. Let, let's there do this. Hold on. Hold on. Sneeko, Sneeko. A, a, a compass is a flat earth instrument. It only points to magnetic north. There's no south pole on a compass. It points four points of south, 180 degrees. Everything 180 degrees away from north is south. You circumnavigate east to west like the sun moves. Think of Christopher Columbus circumnavigating the globe. He just went round on a plate. Put your finger on a fucking plate. You can go round, my dude. Why is North? Why is the North Pole illegal to fly over? The only person who flew, flew over was the Queen's pedophile brother from that pedophile family and the right wing defending the royal family. Wait, the queen, How could the you? Queen, the Queen's brother had sex on Twitch? The, the, I see the right wing on the internet defending the royal family because that fucking old bitch croaked. First of all, the royal fa family... They fund the World Economic Forum and the Davos. That's, that's the Davos true. agenda is funded by them. Okay, so that bug agenda, when you guys start eating bugs, oh, I'm, here, I'm, I'm saving the world eating bugs. That's from the royal family, and the right wing's defending it because they're fucking retarded, and they're patriots. Oh, we went to the moon. We went to... It's a dome. That's why rainbows are dome-shaped. That's why to recreate a rainbow with a scientific method, you need water vapor, a light source, and a glass dome. Rainbows are not sphere-shaped. That's why sun dogs are dome shaped. 
That's why there's stars going counterclockwise around Polaris, the North Star that has not deviated an inch off the sky for thousands of years. If you're flying through infinite space, star trails have to eventually intersect. Oh, but they're light years away and blah, blah. Shut the fuck up. You say you got photos of Mars light years away, you fucking retard. You believe Art. in Planet XXX where that fucking girl's getting banged on, on Twitch? That's what you nice. believe in, you dumb bitch? Okay, okay well, well, how did Russia beat NASA? In the Cold War. Yes, it's a Fugazi. Remember, there is comp there is competitive pressures, but at the end of the day, you cannot go against Klaus Schwab. Who does Putin and Trump and Clintons, who do they have to Zoom call? They have to Zoom call Klaus Schwab, right? They got to adhere to that agenda. There's a world agenda. Just because they compete for a little Ukraine and here and there doesn't mean that they can... Just step out of bounds. You, why has no country? Why has no country taken Antarctica, the most strategic missile position? Why? Because they're not allowed to. There's an Antarctic treaty signed by 50 plus nations since World War II that they're not allowed to go to the highest shoreline on Earth, Antarctica. How do you believe in an ice wall? It's a shoreline. Highest shoreline on Earth is Antarctica. That's what's the edge, right? Now look at the United Nations. Someone leaked on my Twitter. They went into the United Nations building and they took a picture of a flat earth map. What is that map doing in the United Nations? And why is the United Nations flag a flat earth as a monthly equidistant map? Why? Hmm. Why? It's all part of the globalist agenda. I mean, do you understand Freemasonry is these people meditating till they achieve psychic powers, that they talk in Masonic literature, that they can actually paint a da Vinci-like painting mm. after mastering these powers. And here, let me pull it up for you, man, because you guys need sources. I know you won't believe me. No, we've been, we've been looking up the Freemasons yesterday. All right. Out, so like, let's, let's look at Masonic literature. Let's look at Masonic literature, okay? Hey, what would you say? We were studying Freemasons off stream, Sneeko and I, for like six hours yesterday. Yes. Yeah, we were going hard. Now look at this, right? It's Skull and Bones, Freemasons, Rosicrucians. It's all really the same shit. But look at page 180 of Mystic Masonry. As the penile gland with the rest of form bodies, modern physiology assigns to it no function. They're saying the penile gland has no function in modern science, which you learn in school. Yeah, right? Yeah. That's bullshit. It's called the seed of the soul, right? Because and look at this. It says in this page, page 180, it is a small and apparently useless, though its focalized position and symmetrical relations to surrounding structures would seem to assign it a very important office. It presents a different appearance in the very young, very old, and the idiotic. The stupid people have a very weirdly shaped penile gland, right? From that found life, health, and vigor. It has been called the third eye. Ancient Hindus called it eye of Shiva. These guys print money. It's not just the treasury yeah. and the yeah, sector. Sure. You penile, what's your, how's your penile gland looking? It's not Mine's great. Shape. Mine's amazing. Nice. Mine's not weird shape. I'm and not an idiot. You got to remember these books written by either chairman of the Federal Reserve or treasury guys. They print money and they're writing books telling you that science is a cope. They have the real science, the real alchemy, right? Hmm. So it's all based on how your cock is shaped. Uh, Alex Jones will never talk about this. Oh, no. Alex Jones says Flat Earth is stupid, by the way. Alex Jones probably has an ugly dick, though. No, uh, I know. I'm, I'm, ta I'm talking to Alex Jones people. They're good people, but they're patriots. So their audience do love. They're boomers who believe in the moon landing, and that's who they sell to. But really, Eddie Bravo is the only base guy on the Internet. The penile gland, that's not on your dick, though, right? Isn't that in the back of your brain? Uh, it's in the middle. Middle, complete middle. Yeah, yeah but, but they say you have two heads for a reason. Well, it's the third eye. See? <clears throat> the eyes were the third. Exactly. And look at this. Have you taken, have you taken DMT, Jerka? No, psychedelics are for pedophiles. Right, but DMT comes from the penile gland. That's where they get it in frogs, right? Right, right. But you're, any psych psychedelics were pushed during the sexual revolution because they want people to disassociate and shatter their minds. Now, I've done every single drug, including cognitive enhancers like the movie Limitless, Modafinil. I've tried all smart drugs. I've tried all performance-enhancing drugs. I used to have a different life. I used to be a big-time drug dealer, make a lot of money. I've tried all drugs. The one group of drugs I've never tried is psychedelics because I know they came from the CIA. I know what they're trying to do. And also, weed makes you gay. What do they... Wait, weed makes you gay. 
I mean, weed makes you gyno. It gives you gyno. Like, weed is very bad, and it makes you docile. I've been smoking weed for nine years. I just recently stopped smoking weed. I've been smoking weed for nine years. My titty's still looking fine. Sneeko, Sneeko, you stopped smoking weed, and your channel blew up. I mean, I, I hit a mill before. I hit a mill on my main channel before that, but I'm still not gay. No, no, no. Sne no, that, forget the gay part. Sneeko, when, when we watch your old video, Sneeko, when we watch your old video, Sneeko, you used to be unsure of yourself. You used to let some cute uh, liberal girl that you date, you'd hear her opinions when you knew it was dog shit. Now you're the real Sneeko. Now you know what you're doing. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, you're not the Dirk stoner. is waking me the fuck up. Earth is flat. Earth is flat, chat. Attaboy. Attaboy. You got me fired up. That's it. That's all you have I'm to I'm telling you, dude. That's a, all I needed. A lot of this. people attack Sneeko for saying he's just biting on the red pill shit, but think about it. Every guy deep down is red pill. Why men are pull the shit deep down. That's yeah. a fact. Why men are politically correct is because they're being pressured by women. No man is you've been in a locker room where men are being politically correct. That doesn't exist. Never. That's fair. That's a that's a great point. So men are being put down by women. No. By well, me, when, Schwab. when when men lose the masculine spirit, they become women. So how do you avoid that? It, you really, you first of all, you need God. God is good. God is great. Period. You need God. All right. Any man without God is a degenerate loser, and you you could see you you've never respected an atheist. Trust me, or an agnostic. You think you have, you haven't. Okay. Trust me. The people when you look up the Malcolm X, there's a reason. It's not that he's smart, right? It's because he's with God. He's on a mission, right? And Wait, the problem. You buy your cigarettes, jerker. You buy your cigarettes in a gas station. Well, here's the thing, right? This is a depopulation tool. So why are you smoking it? Because I'm fucking invincible, right? Sneeko? You're not though. You're not. I, See, what well, you're no, no. Sneeko, do you, I could do a fucking Sneeko. I could do. An, I could do eight ball of coke right now. He thinks and, and nothing, literally nothing changes in my do heart. It. Nothing changes in my heartbeat. Do and it. You're, you're saying I got bunk shit? Do it, drug dealer. Wait, wait, do the eight ball of coke. I'm I at you. I don't do that shit anymore. Oh, but you smoke cigarettes though. This is a cope. This is an oral uh, fixation. Okay, Here, okay, when, okay. Someone, it, when someone has an oral fixation, right, it means they miss their mama titty. That's what Freud said. Mm. So when people bite their nails, they really want the baby bottle. So, like, so what you, that's why Hassan is coping. He's always biting his nails. Literally, dude. Dude, literally, dude. What you saying, <laughs> What do you think about men being able to get pregnant, Zerka? Oh, man. That is the biggest crock of shit I've ever heard, dude. Like, the only time a man is pregnant, right, is before he takes a shit. That, that, that can't happen. That's impossible. That's just Masonic programming. Masonic programming. How do we break out of the matrix? You don't because you got to remember the average IQ. Like, think of it. The average IQ is extremely low and recently eight points even lower. So people are the dumbest they've ever been. People think... What's the average IQ right now? I, I don't even know right now, but it, it, they said it dropped eight points and they want you... Uh, the, What's your IQ? Are you genius level like me? I'm 145 genius level. I could see you being smart because I've seen your videos. So And you are like a problem solver. But the problem is, Nico... You do like trends. When weed becomes popular, you'll go back to it. That's the problem. Weed's popular right now. Weed's pretty popular right now, Zerka. If yeah, Sneeko goes back to weed, he'll be in a dress by next week. I guarantee it. I'm going to hold you to that. Now, you, you think I'm a trend follower. I'm just, I'm a wave rider. Because you said you smoke weed for eight years. You think that was incepted in your brain that that was cool. Yeah, I probably started because I thought it was cool. Yeah, you didn't do the, re like a real man does coke, bro. Why are you doing weed? A real man do coke. I'm kidding. No, drugs are degenerate. But here's what I'm trying to say. Here's what anything that makes you anything that makes you introspective is really dangerous for you, right? Because then when someone says Sneeko, you're a misogynist and he's high, Sneeko goes like this. Maybe, maybe I am. Maybe she's right. No, Sneeko, every girl you dated was gaslighting, gaslighting you into thinking you're wrong. You're right. You were right about everything. Every red pill thing you've had in your head was correct. That's the truth. I'm right about every single thing. You were right about said. when Trump came back and he said, I was right about everything. Trump was right about everything. Okay. Mm. That's the truth. Men are always right. He was. He was. He was. Men, are, but women are always right. Right. Here's Wait, the problem. Men are always right. I'll always champion women like our parents, but the modern day woman She's she take what you have to pay everything for her and she still goes to the club with her homies. 
You think that's 100%. a good trade deal? It sounds kind of like you're being abused, my dude. That's ridiculous. Yo, tell me about Gematria. I have all these people in my chat. I have a bunch of these Wait. like so teenagers obsessed with numbers. Mm. What, are you, what are you about to say? I want to. I want to hear Jerka's take on Gematria. Yes. What's so Gematria? it's it's linked to symbolism, but really to decode ancient texts, emerald tablets, and Abrahamic texts. Each letter is assigned a number. So the more you decode, the more you find out Masonic truths. They do this because they know the average public is not going to be able to decode these, right? They have a monopoly on information. They tell you the penile gland. It, just like when they tell you drinking human blood on Wikipedia, it says it does nothing. But in mice studies, when you inject old mice with, rat, with young rat blood, they act more rejuvenated. They will not tell you the effects of drinking human blood. They keep it for themselves. You understand? No. Search up adrenochrome and you'll understand. Yeah, yeah I've searched that up. I've searched up adrenochrome. Continue. Who, who's right. taking this adrenochrome? So ad ad Exactly. So adrenochrome is how the elites cope to avoid judgment day. They want to live forever, right? So they but actually are vampiric. Blood. All those vampiric myths come from something. You think Harry Potter is popular because it's great literature? It's actually garbage, but it's pushed top down onto us because the royal craft is witchcraft. These people do black magic. Do you really think Eyes Wide Shut is just a fucking movie? Are you retarded? It was shot in a Rothschild Red Shield mansion. Who, how did zillionaires allow Stanley Kubrick to film that in their mansion? Why would a Rothschild, ever, a Rothschild, why would they ever allow someone in their mansion to do that kind of a ritual on TV? And they killed him right after. Exactly. That's the sacrifice. You're really good at this. Yeah, who's, who's this dude uh, acting like Tommy? That's this Ice is, Poseidon? You want a good streamer? This is a good streamer. All right, but yo, no, can you add Ice Poseidon? No, no, he's banned. He's banned. I know oh Paul, but God. he's banned. Here, I'm adding Pokemon. Hold on. All right, bet. <laughs> <laughs> she knows all about Adrenochrome. <laughs> yeah, Yo, you know about Atrazine? Yeah, Atrazine. I mean, it's turning the frogs gay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I'm going to add Alex Jones. Oh, I'd love that. Wait, actually. Yo, should I have Fuentes to the call, or is he banned on Twitch? He's banned on Twitch. I don't know who he is. Uh, oh. Yo, he's you would love he's Fuentes. He's a funny guy. The guy got coming in here will be content if he answers. Hey, you guys can you guys can go off on him. Who is it? Acting like Tommy. Do I know that? Is that a he's Twitch? Pink haired Fortnite pro, the six year old. Six. He's super, super liberal. Super. Oh, he's, six? He, he's the one who talked to Andrew Tate. Yeah, 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 that one. Oh, this is great. He's re he's yeah, really he's demonically great. possessed. <laughs> Jerky, you don't know about Nick Fuentes? Give me a second. Oh, Keep I talking. know, I know Nick very well. Yeah. What do you think about Nick Fuentes? Yeah, he's hilarious. He's hilarious, and uh, his people have given me a lot of money. But uh, sometimes I think like, sometimes Nick talks about optics, but then he says he doesn't give a fuck and just throws them out the window. So I know he's on a f no. Was it a fly list? He's on a watch list. He's on a no-fly list. He's banned from the bank. He's banned on every social media site. Why, though? I forget. The that. FBI is investigating him, too. He's under investigation by the FBI right now. He's a movie coming out. And he had $500,000 frozen, right? Some, I, I, I didn't know that. Yeah, apparently he had like half a million dollars frozen by the, by the government. But I don't think Nick went in the Capitol building, right? He's not known for that, is he? Yeah, that, that's why he's under investigation by the FBI right now. But there's a Freemason that just donated, said, I'm a Freemason. Where's this guy? That's not what we're taught. We are similar to Tate's War Room. Where's these dudes learning this nonsense from YouTube videos? There's a Freemason defending it. What do you have to say to the Freemason? Yeah, most Freemasons are just fucking retards, right? It's really the 33rd degree and 32nd degree. But the, the satanic doctrine is held for the 30th, 31st, 32nd, 33rd degree. Because you got to remember, right? Where there's power, there's evil. To kill your brother to be next in line for the throne is a satanic contract you have with your conscience before you do it. You stay up all night thinking, should I kill my brother to be next in line for the throne? That's why at the top of any power structure will be evil, right? Good cannot compete with evil like that. But what you got to remember is, right? This is a soul contract they're losing out on. At the end of the day, they got to talk to God. I mean, these people are coping, right? 
John, you're, you're coping talking? right now with that cigarette, though. John, yeah, John, which we all cope, yeah. Huh? Which streamers at the top have sold their soul? Right. It's usually when people uh, intentionally demoralize their uh, chat for a paycheck. So Hassan Piker is number one. Hassan Piker sold his soul. Absolutely. It, it, like to the devil. Absolutely. How does somebody go about doing that? Uh, basically, you'll get offered big money one day to go against your internal values. If your internal values are to not be a degenerate, but you're piping a lot of bitches externally, you're always, you're always going to be depressed, right? Because they're not matching. Your internal values have to match your actions. Now, these people will preach like, oh, I'm for the working class. But Hassan was laughing at the working class getting stomped out by horses for the Canadian truckers. And when every small store got burnt down, but not the monopolies during the riots, Hassan supported those stores like, well, you know, they're mad. They get to riot. This he knows in his heart what he's doing is evil. Mm. Do you think he's a do you think he's a demon worshiper? No, he's just a dumbass. Okay. <laughs> Fair, fair. What about, uh, back to this drama, Zerka, what's your opinion on this drama? Right, so Crazy Slick, I know him well, right, which is not Slicker. I know him well, too. I actually hung out with both of them for like 10 hours. Like, these I, these guys I knew very well. Crazy Slick is actually a fucking psychopath that he's like, hey, when in history have you messaged a girl that you just met and said, hey, I'm fapping? And she's like, oh, yeah, let me finish you off. Yeah, keep going. Yeah, come on, daddy. She, this never happened. And this that guy's DM, he's DMing chicks. Hey, I'm fapping. Maybe you should have unspoken riz, to be fair. Dude, you could DM your girlfriend. Hey, I'm fapping. And she'd be like, whoa, whoa, slow down, partner. Like, she'll, you know what I mean? This guy's DMing strangers. This guy's girl. clearly fucking, he's crazy. He DMs random streamers that he's fapping to them. Yeah, I didn't. I didn't see that part. Yeah, you don't do that. Yeah, I've never done that. No, personally, no. Nah, okay. Never done that. Yeah. yeah, I mean, that's, that's I mean, just so weird. No, yeah, in, the, in the last six years, right? Anyone I, I've I, ever hooked up with, that. I've never inserted myself in them. I've always let them grab me and insert me in them. Because I'll never be caught up in no lie. I'll go on a right, lie. But how, how are you? How do you get into the situation where you're already ready to go and you're both out and then she just pulls it in? Usually it's a lot of work to get you both naked, you know? Because like, no, stop. The, no, I don't want the, the number one rule is she got to be jumping on your lap, right? That's why. The, it, or else you're going to catch a charge, man. <laughs> These guys who are like pushy, pushy, especially red pill guys. This is 2022. Don't don't be weird. You you're gonna right, lose right. everything, and people. So are what's like, your what's your closer looking like? How do you get her to pull to pull it in? Right, I remind her I did half a million views overnight on my first day with no game release or friends. Right, and then she goes, "Oh shit, I better yank it in." Right, right. but really, it comes That's down to point. it comes down to do not hook up. Okay, uh, the, my biggest problem with the red pill community is that they'll say women are gonna destroy your life, but surround yourself by with these hoes. No, don't surround yourself with hoes. Go yeah, make your that. money. Right? That's the yeah, weirdest hoes are the biggest part. liability. Yeah, that's just retarded. Wait, so you, you have you have a wifey? You got a girlfriend? Yeah. One girl at a time. That's it. That's how you do it. And you but I used to, I used to I used to be a huge player and stuff. Wasn't happy. Didn't bring me fulfillment. It brought me problems. And yeah, I think most men will be happy with one at a time. Because imagine five when I had five girlfriends at once, that's five headaches. That's not worth it at so all. That's a full time job. Five nuts for five headaches? Come on. That was when you were peak coke dealer, right? Yeah, yeah. I was coping I hard. Fucking knew yeah, it. Yeah. No, and, co co coping with coke. Yeah, yeah. No, it, okay. here, here's the thing, though. Women love criminals and drug dealers. It's fun for them. It's actually retarded how much they love. They want to bail you out of jail. They like the excitement, the thrill, the danger. Well, they want a rule breaker because then they go, oh, this guy will protect me, right? If something goes, if something goes wrong this guy will fight the hamburglar when he comes to molest me right that's Yo, Arab, do you think do you think latina women are crazy oh yeah but they're lovely yeah they're lovely, the hottest but... hottest women on earth yeah, for sure. yeah they're crazy but they're lovely yeah where's your girl from i don't have a girl i don't have a girl oh okay i'm multiple we All travel right, well travel for a living bro please there's a rolodex across the world come on arab oh, arab you you've piped like that's 10 degenerate you know that yeah what, arab what? you've piped 10 chicks in the last month no come on five no come i, on, I hear them they tell me 
<laughs> no, bro, no, no. I'm not a whore. I'm not a whore. I gotta have the feelings. I don't just pipe random chicks. You know, she's gotta be funny. She's gotta be intelligent. What? Like, I'm not a woman. How can a woman be funny? Exactly. That's the issue, right? That's why I'm single. That's why there's no girl that's here. You find them every now and then. But I've no, noticed no, they... when women are funny, it's when they're not trying to make a joke. They're just being cruel. <laughs> that's no, no, they... they're just telling the truth. Like if they're that ever bitch in her stupid fucking lips, yeah. I fucking hate that yeah. stupid. I'm like, whoa, that's how you really feel. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. You talk to white chicks. No, my most of my history is Latinas are mixed white and Latino. I've had everything. I don't talk to white chicks. White yeah, chicks. white chicks don't like me. What? They're the easiest yeah. to brainwash. Yeah, I'm that's kidding, I'm issue. kidding. <laughs> <laughs> You're not wrong, but that's the issue that you have to actually teach them. I don't want to teach them. I don't have the What's the what's the white girl risk cuz I'm lacking in that department big time. Like maybe a Greek or an Italian or some shit but like the blonde hair, sorority, white claw white chick, I, I don't I don't know. You lose brain cells, bro. You don't want white girl riz. Well, the white girl will is the only girl right now who defends a thousand body count. Yeah. Which is that kind is of true. nuts. That's true. Wait, I've actually never put it that way. Yeah, that's, yeah, they do. Oh, they defend true. it. Yes, it is. But what's the white girl risk? How do you get a MAGA girl? A MAGA girl, it, first of all, there's no such thing as a MAGA girl because you're going to find that whether she's liberal or conservative, she's always going to say, why can you do that and I can't? They're always liberals. It doesn't matter their political views. They just cannot do it. If if Jesus you say my experience the same thing though. Yeah, you could go to a MAGA girl and say, Hey, you're gonna be staying at home and doing that and I'm gonna go out. She's gonna say, Why? And you'll be like, Aren't you MAGA? Aren't you like supposed to be for traditional values? What the fuck? Yeah, but why she gotta stay at home? Why? Because it's a dangerous Where world. She belongs. You, it's yeah. a dangerous world, man. You don't wanna you don't wanna take her with you through those dangers? Nah, bro, how do I cheat if I take her with me? <laughs> <laughs> see i don't cheat so i don't know maybe that's the difference i'm maybe kidding I'm, I'm kidding no yeah, I, I no i like yeah. going out i i do like that i like dates i like you know it took me a long time but now i do enjoy it i you don't like dates i hate dates, I hate dates. yeah I, I used to hate it until covid happened and i got trapped at home and now it's like fun again you know no i hate dates i like to bring them on stream make some fucking content and then after you just you know oh stream content's good yeah that's a date, right. right? Does that count as a date? That's that's what I like as a date. No, if you're profiting off of it, you're supposed to lose money on a date. Yeah, I'm good. I'm not trying to lose no money on a date. No, she's the, supposed to get a to-go box and cry. That's well, a date. The best thing about a date is if she's pissing you off, you can say, hey, something came up and leave. But if she's at home with you, you have to leave your Stop. own house. Like, that makes no sense. Like, I want to go to my computer. Yo, Jerka, how many, how many booster shots did you get? Unfortunately, to travel, I got two. Bro, bro, no troll. I had to get the vaccine to travel. Yeah, yeah. they got my. Wait, you're flat Earth and you're boosted up, dude. They, they, they're trying to jump me for this. My chatters hate this. Wow, yeah. bro, you're the last person I expect after that whole shit. Charles I know, Schwab, I know. Klaus but Schwab, whatever Sneagle, the fuck. Sneagle, 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 my fa I, to, to travel here, to travel and see my family. That's more important than anything. I need to leave the country. I'm in Canada, dude. We're locked up. My job is to travel, so you know, no option really here. Not all of us are stuck in New York and Miami. Like, we get it. You have diversity. The whole world's next to you, bro. But some of us have to actually travel for a while. If you believe, the, if you believe the, the Earth is flat, I mean, there's other ways around it, too. Uh, that's low IQ thinking. But what, how, what do you think the, the vaccine is going to do? I'm on Twitch. Bro, you've been talking about black magic, about... Yeah, I'm okay, on Twitch. Okay, ironically, though. Ironically, um, not the vaccine. What do you think about um, the, the new software update? What's that going to do? Uh, you talking about gene therapy? <laughs> no. Yeah. Um. Well, I mean, it's on my Twitter. Okay. Yeah. Actually, no. I'm on. I. I have. No, let's be careful on that. I got a misinformation strike right now. You yeah, we're kidding. Hey, can we say we're yeah. comedians? Like this is all comedy. Bro, I'm, we're all being ironic and joking. The jerk is in character right now, so my sneaker's not my real name. It's, it's just a character I play. Yeah, I'm not actually a flat earther. Bro, that's so stupid. Yeah. Like, I'm actually a Freemason. <laughs> Knock on wood, well, don't say that. You're definitely a flat earther, John. Yeah, true. <laughs> you know when Everyone when you'll realize the earth is flat is when you stay in a helicopter for ten hours and land in the same fucking spot because the I think the earth is not in motion. Day. I think what the viewers need to understand is that everyone's a fucking entertainer at the end of the day. 
And if you think any of these streamers or YouTubers actually give a fuck about you, like, yeah, you know, we love the people that support us, blah, blah, blah. If you think any of these streamers at the top, the fucking pogger streamers, whatnot, give a fuck about you at the end of the day, you could turn on them instantly. They could turn on you instantly. They're just trying to make a money, make money for their family and shit. Like, you, what, the, what you got to yeah. remember is every streamer against gambling, because they have child audiences and they can't grab the deal without getting canceled that's why they don't gamble that's why they yeah. hate gambling it's it's not because they're against it right they're degens they're ag they love gambling but they, they they can't do it i know a lot of streamers who gamble offline oh, i can't let they my chat find out about this yeah yeah make sure you don't post a story with me when you're here yeah. shit like that yeah. no that's the no, creepiest that's, yeah, thing like about twitchcon yo zirka i love you man but you know i can't show it publicly because you know and I'm like, yeah. Oh, bro. You, you know. You know how many DMs I get like that, Zerka? Yeah, me too. Fucking so that. many, bro. I oh, hate it, but I get it. Some people got kids and they got families to feed, right? Yeah, yeah. No, it makes sense. It makes sense. But at the same time, like, as long as they don't throw you under the bus when shit happens. Yeah. I got a donut that said the software update is already causing a weakened hard drive on a lot of PCs. Be careful of what you upgrade your PC with, especially by Microsoft. I could agree with that. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff coming out that's like people are really like uh, in other countries. They're not covering in mainstream media, but uh, there's a lot of uh, back and forth right now about people regretting it and all that. Wait, so how religious are you? Are you a Christian, Arab? You're, you're Muslim, right? But you commit a lot of haram, I'm apparently. Muslim, I'm a Muslim. You're Muslim, but you're, you commit haram. He's I'm a Christian. Muslim. He's a Christian. You're really Christian? Yeah, yeah, I'm Catholic. So how, why did you have that dress thing? Of content. <laughs> oh, okay. You call it a dress? <laughs> Well, I travel too, so so I bought that in Saudi, or in in, oh, Dubai, not in Dubai. Yeah, yeah. Wherever I go, I buy the cultural shit. But uh, no, I'm not really religious though. Like I'm raised Catholic, but not religious. No. Jerka, how religious are you, and what do you think about Abrahamic religions? Who's the real God? Uh, I'm not. I'm not religious at all. But uh, the most generous people on earth will be Muslims. They give. They they've gifted over four hundred thousand dollars. Like I definitely got to champion them, right? You say most religious people on earth i'm saying the most generous people on earth are muslims right yeah are that's what that's why i'm rich that's why you're rich oh because oil money yeah so i gotta defend them right oh, yeah, you, yeah. you seem like you've made a lot of weird money like nick fuentes money oil money I yeah yeah get it's all it's always the extreme right whether saudis or hard catholics those guys support me the most right because uh i guess i'm like the only channel who's like like i hate the left and the right wing because um to me, right wing is not Donald Trump. Right wing is Saudis. They're doing it correct, right? And that's what we like to hear here, right? We like like conservative values because, for example, would you guys really, do you guys really think it would be that bad to be born in 1950s America? It's not that extreme, but 1950s America sounds to me like heaven. Are you half black? Yes, I am. 1950s america yeah i get this okay. all the time all right i'm saying without the you, racism you, you, and you're sitting at the back of the bus and no, 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 the, no 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 without the, the shitty water fountain with the no, rust in it no no in an updated in a dlc where there's no racism and i get this a lot where people are like 1950s america do you mean without the sexism john i said no that's what makes it Okay, okay, so you can have kidding, the sexism, but not the racism? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But all you're I'm not saying, kidding. You're not all, kidding, but wait. Okay, all I'm saying is Sneeko. You Sneeko. can beat your wife, but you still can drink at the water fountain? No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Sneeko, would you be that mad if beaches were like more modest? Or do you like the thongs? I don't like the... I don't like going to the park and seeing people twerk when I'm chilling with my mom. I don't like that shit. But that's the world, bro. That's just the reality. No, that's the West. What the fuck? Nah, think, that's the world. There's plenty of countries where you, you can go with your five-year-old nephew to the park and not see twerking. It's not Miami, bro. What's wrong with Miami, man? Degenerate. Miami's pretty fucked. Miami's pretty degenerate. Where the fuck are you at? Like Pennsylvania? I'm in a degenerate place called Vancouver, Canada. Right? No. I don't defend it. Communist I mean, this country, man. Exactly. I, I don't defend that. Do you always have like, OnlyFans chicks on your stream? Yeah, I, I do. But remember, I'm battling their ideas. I'm not promoting like, hey, you're correct. I'm kind of clowning them. Okay, so what you're doing is you're battling them on stream and then you're fucking them off camera. And then you're telling your chat that this is degenerate, right? That's the old me, Sneeko. <laughs> That's before I found God, okay? You know how many OnlyFans uh, girls I had to... You know how many OnlyFans I had to go through to find God? It's crazy. How many? How many? Man... 
No, no, really not that many. I'm joking about that. Like, I did my dirt when I was a nightclub bouncer. So when I came out to Twitch, I was very, like, uh, just me, 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 money, money, money. And that's all I care about. Are you paying on the first date? Hell yeah. uh, it depends if she's ugly. Well, well, why are you going on a date with an ugly chick in the first place? Why are you that far? Sometimes, I, sometimes you have to be seen on an ugly girl's Snapchat so the hot girls DM you. Like, ugly girls have the hottest friends, right? So it's like a network thing. Mm. Wait, what? Repeat this? Like, if I go to the club and pick up an ugly chick, she brings me six hotties. But if I go for one hottie, it's, she's not bringing me shit. But how are you moving on to the next chick if, if they already think you're with her? Oh, no, I don't take it that far. I'm not, like, touching the ugly. You just gone on a date? No, she's like my moderator. Like, I befriend her. So you're taking your mods on dates so that the hot girls... Yeah. I, you go to I, the might, I might use that to cancel you in about six months. That That's was fine. Info. There's way worse than that. <laughs> Uh-oh. Is this a strategy? Yeah, I worked as a nightclub bouncer for, like, five years full time like the only young guy in my city who did this and i've noticed that if you want a bunch of chicks in your life because you, you need to get 10 numbers to smash one it's not like you can pick up one at the club and smash that never happens you need to work numbers so i've noticed that network is what's missing you could have 10 million dollars on nfts but if you don't have network you have to dm people like me to bring you girls right you could have 100 million dollars you still need network Right. So I've noticed that just going for odd chicks doesn't really get you them. You have to talk to the mid ones. You have to talk to those ones. Reel them in. They do all the way. You get on one mid chick snap story and that's it. Boom. All of her friends know who you are. They want to meet you. You got your DMs full. It's perfect. Right. So but again, when I when I was degening, I was a professional. I was like really studying it. Bro, I'm taking notes. Yeah, I'm taking yeah. us right now too. Tell I me what it was like being a club promoter. How did you get from the number? No, to not a club promoter. Gym? No, no, no. I was a bouncer fighting on Granville Street. Like, b there's some leaked stuff, but uh, I was uh, known for being like violent. But I was never in prison because I was guarding the club from these freaks, right? But uh, that's my past. And then I found God went viral, and now I have a good life here. But uh, yeah, all my life used to be drinking, girls, and fighting on okay. the street. That's all I used to do. Very degen, very satanic. That sounded more fun than poggers. Nah, that was depression. Like, that's cope. Like, I got a great life now. You stream. You stream all day, right? I do, and I'm uh, coming out with a documentary. So I, I've been reading a lot of books, and I'm, it's going to be a conspiracy-style documentary. How many bodies you got in the last year, John? And I've had one girl this year, but uh, in my life, I've had hundreds, yeah. But oh, I, I, it this year, no, no, but, this whole year, stop the cap. Yeah, no, I'm, I was in a, I was in a relationship for the longest. I am in a relationship, but look, um, you, you got to remember that I don't have a high body count because all I did is get head. That doesn't count. All I did is get a bunch of head in my life. I didn't actually pipe. Wait, how do you get head without having to lay it down? Usually, I have to to finger or at least fuck a little bit before you know you just you just, you just whip it out, put it in the mouth. No, no, I would, uh, on the date, I would say that's my favorite part, and then they'd remember. Like, it's your favorite part of sex? Yeah, like if I'm driving home, they would give me a head, right? And then I would just never call them again, because I'm like, I got it. That, yeah. So I, Wait, so a so lot no, of, no, so no, 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 hold on, hold on, reel yeah. it back, reel it back. What are you saying on the date to go and plant that idea in their minds? And I'm just making them laugh and telling them how I like it one-sided, where I get worshipped and you don't, and then some girls are down for that, right? Oh, and she thinks that you're joking, but you're really being serious. So you're just saying how you want to have all the control. And then finally, like when you're in the car, then she does it. Yeah, no, eventually they just get it and they go, oh, he's like a hyper dom. Like he doesn't like, you know how most men care if the girl nuts? I don't. I don't. Yeah, care. that's another red pill thing. You're saying that um, that red pill people care too much about hoes. Bro, you like to you don't like making a bitch nut. Right. I, I, I do. If she's mine, if she's a stranger, yeah. no. That's true. Okay. Yeah, if I'm dating, I do care sometimes, right? Your job is to bust a nut, then it doesn't matter, right? No, because the stars got a line for them and stuff, and us, we're straight shooters. Ours comes quick. So it's like they got to jump through a bunch of oops sometimes. Sometimes they're thinking too much and shit. So it's like for them, it's like a big deal to get that nut. And for us, it's like, hey, we're, we get a little, you know. Isn't the fun to chase, though, like making them nut? Yeah, sometimes. I mean, but 
my whole life I just wanted head, dude. I was weird. I was really afraid of. Uh, I That's always fair. thought I always thought banging was satanic, so I was really afraid of it. So that's the work around his anal. No, no, that's satanic. That opens up oh, portals. Oh. That opens mm. up portals, dude. That's what Muslim Al chicks do. Alistair Crowley, the most influential black magician of all time, right? Nobody knows what he's known for. He's got poetry about drinking vomit. Nobody knows. He's not a poet. He was knighted. This guy is the most influential guy of the West since 1912 or whatever. What did this guy do? In his book, he says after his first anal experience... He started talking to demons. Right, right, right. So you open up her portal and then I've never even portal. I've never even touched with a finger or watched anal for more than two seconds on a video ever in my life. I'm 28. I've never ever come on I no, thumb in the God. butt, a little bit around the circle. Hell no! It's I, just it's just staring at you. It's right there. How you not put a finger at it? You're into, girl, like, you your guys ass. are into feces. John, what about a girl eating your ass? Hell no! That's the most submissive shit I've ever heard in my life. Have you had that? Your ass, dude. That what? So what? You're like this. Me? You're like this. No, getting. No, 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 oh no, yeah, no. this is like so so fucking alpha, bro. I'm asking your opinion. I don't let no girl get near my ass. No, Steve, that's you, it, no. That's I'd catch a charge. No way. Like he was letting a girl eat his ass. Hell okay. no. First one of all, time, no. Wait, 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 wait. Story time. One time. I used to go to, to swinger parties. One time, I'm, I'm fucking my girl, and then this this girl this girl this girl comes in while I'm standing up, and I just feel a tongue go in there, and I'm like, oh, uh, weird. <laughs> you, <laughs> like, Sneeko, you got assaulted, and I got us. I did not consent, but I didn't hate it. But yeah. technically, that's assault. Yeah. Were that's you on fair. drugs? Yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. There it is. Degenerate. Degenerate. I Degenerate Molly. Sneeko, I reacted to that, and you were talking to some buddies. And you're like, oh, everyone got to try that where you go to a swinger party with your girl and stuff. And you're yeah. like joking about it. And I'm like, how is that not traumatizing, bro? How is that Why? not traumatizing? Why is it traumatizing? Why isn't it like a learning lesson? Like, bro, we growing up, I used to watch all the fucking beheadings and shit on Daily Leaks. Like, you never seen that shit on it live? Character. It builds character. Character, bro. Like, that's the real world. You see this shit. Yeah, but uh, you got to remember that I used to watch beheadings and stuff like that. But the CIA does that to put people in a dissociative state. If you watch people getting killed and snuff films like that, eventually you do become satanic and psychopathic and Ted Bundy like. That's how the government gets people f uh, to to. to Why Ted am Bund I fine? You're saying to never admit that I was on 4chan. That was my entire adolescent years. Uh, Going through puberty was just me on B looking at beheadings. No, that, Sneeko, that was my, my favorite my favorite part of your life when i was watching your youtube this is like years ago you would always date some liberal girl and i could hear you giggling so hard when you talk to her because everything she's saying is stupid but you're doing <laughs> yeah. it to, you're doing it to pipe and i was thinking to myself i'm like this guy is eventually going to overdose on red pill and then you finally did Cause you, I, Yo, that's I, a great analysis, bro. Yeah. Oh yeah, all my I used to do videos with him too. For, it's great content going back and forth. Like girls would be like psychology majors, like talking about my ADHD, and I'd be like, "Yo, why do I have ADHD?" It's because well, sometimes you drive really fast. I'm like, that's just fun. It's not a it's not a disability, but it was just good to go back and forth with all the liberal bot behavior because you know well, they know Sneeko, the truth. Sneeko, you are actually doing good because you're in New York. You'd think you'd be a lot worse. You know, you're doing pretty good that you're here now. New York makes people animals, bro, like dogs. That's why I got like, out. I live in degenerate Miami like, right now. That's bad, but I'm saying, Sneeko, if I grew up in New York like you, I would have been a fucking method. It would have been so bad. I right? almost was. I was doing Adderall for like five, six years. Why are that's you pretending? Why are you pretending like you stopped? I st I stop. I I know people <laughs> think I do it for the stream. No, look at you would it, bro, there's some, no 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 no. There's some there's some fucking YouTube videos where you're like this. Yo, Tap, what's up? You, you tell me you're no sober. Adderall. You tell me you're no sober Adderall. there. Bullshit. Sober. Bullshit. Sober. When, sober. When I'm you go you. when you go to sneak you. when you go to sneak fish eye mode, when you go fish eye mode, you're sober. Get the fuck out of here. Wait the fuck up. I don't need Adderall to do that. I don't buy it. You and Destiny are on something. No, no, I'm telling you, man. I'm telling you, I'm completely sober. I don't take that bot shit anymore. Th did that shit make you a bot? Um, no, but it made me really good at editing. It made me go limitless mode. Yeah, that, that's the scary thing about Adderall is like you can make a shit ton of money with it or finish oh, a yeah. lot of school, but it does eat away it. at you, yeah. I've never fucked with Adderall. It's too strong. For me, it'll get me banned. I get way too aggressive. I want to see you on Adderall. I want to see you on an eight ball. I'll show you some old clips. <laughs>
Wait, Jerker, what's your next milestone for numbers? I'd say when, when I get a mil on Shneeko, my second channel, and you hit your next milestone, we can go full demonic mode, share an eight ball, go no. to generate mode. Sneeko, I'll tell you this. When we hit our goals, our financial goals, we just start doing rails on stream. Wait, what's your financial goals? <laughs> financial your goals? Really, I use my money to fund projects, really, because I want to be remembered for bad i need to be remembered for battling globalists i don't want to be remembered for just like girls and stupid shit so for me financial goals would be 10 mil like movie mil. i want to i want to have i want to have like 10 sneakos working on a big documentary remember when alex jones cracked the bohemian grove thing yeah why why don't we ever do shit like that that's Are what we, i'm trying to that's the next step too that's the next step. Sneeko. Is this the start of something? Us three go to Bohemian Grove right now and stream it. Yeah, Yo, Air, we out? IRL stream at the Bohemian Grove? I don't even know what the fuck that is. I'm down. That's the like a Freemason ritual where they go sacrifices and they a bunch of rich people touch each other and stuff. K K I'm going to tell you guys something that's going to yeah. terrify you, right? My, totally bu would. my buddy who got banned by reporters and they came after me. They put me on a hit list uh, on their website. That was their the website is Bohemian Society, and now they know who you two are. Guys. Thanks a lot, bro. Now I'm on the hit list because of Jerka. Bro, I'm ironic. Jer Jerka's a fucking troll. I hate Jerka. I'm a fed, bro. <laughs> Whatever the fuck you guys try to do to me, I can do even worse. I'm Arab. Come, come at me. Oh, no, yeah, you, come to Arab. You the, these guys are grifters. You cannot love, hey, you cannot I'm trans. You cannot say I'm that. Trans. You can't say that on on September. And also I'm in a wheelchair, so we're oh, good. September. We're safe. Wait, what? have to do with this it's a 9 11 all right whatever which by what? the way have you guys noticed have you guys, arab have you noticed no no, no. there's no arabs in there's no arabs involved like can you give me the whole month no no listen listen have you noticed no that would have happened two airplanes in new york took down three buildings do the math Jet fuel. You, you gotta debate destiny. The next time I debate destiny, I'm gonna I'm gonna bring Jerk on. He, he's afraid call. of me. He's no, he's not. I mean, he, 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 you know, he, he, he. Here's the problem with destiny: is you can say, "Hey, how come in 9/11 the building seven fell? Like, did it just watch the other two buildings and said, "Fuck it, I'm dropping," and he'll say, right? "Destiny will just jump through hoops and say, well, yeah, it was an office fire." That's what he'll say. Really? I it's, debated him about this. I, I did not hear that point. No, it's weird because Sneeko, when you're winning against Destiny, he still uses his uh, black magic to somehow win the debate. It's kind of crazy. He's good at gaslighting. Mm. Bro, Just, this guy's tried to join like six times. What happened to acting like Tommy? No, no. I, I'm, I've called him six times. This guy will bring the most caught. You'll get so many clips out of this guy. How do you this know like the, this guy? This guy was on the Andrew Tate one. Yeah, this guy's a, a ex aspiring Fortnite pro, sixty years old, but now he's turned super liberal political Twitch streamer. And well, that that's the cool thing with our side is like we still joke around with the libs when they're on call with us, but we, God forbid we're around them, they start to try and cancel and destroy us. So I don't know why he's afraid to join. He's not afraid to join. He's not even on. I just fucking he's dying his up. hair. Hold on. Yeah, but he might be. He might be. But no, you're right. You're right. There is a... We joke. We troll. We're all fucking trolls at the end of the day. Trolling. This whole thing was a, a conspiracy. Oh, this guy's jerk is crazy. You think fucking Zerka believes any of the shit he's saying? Nah, he's just being ironic in Minecraft. <laughs> like Zerka's just going fucking... No, he's just stuff. stupid, silly guy. <laughs> fucking, I love when he's a character. Can we, can we actually stream that place or will we die? I think we'll die. Where do you... How do you get to this place? They used to do it in the forest in San Francisco, and then Alex Jones went in there and did a documentary. And then basically, I think they do it on islands now because they realize that normies can just wander into the forest. You should watch it. There's a documentary about the Bohemian Grove that Alex Jones made on Infowars. It's, it can't be on YouTube, but you could actually see the ritual going on. It's like, I think it's a Freemason ritual. Fuck. Why, why is there, there going to go to the kitchen? I think he's snorting an eight ball right now. He said he doesn't do that anymore, bro. He's contradicted himself a couple times in this call. <laughs> he's just a troll. He's 100% just a troll. Listen, Sneeko's chat. When he comes back, wait, wait, he's back. Yo, should I pay 18K to get my Twitter unbanned? No, not worth. It'll get banned right after. Don't do it. Yeah, probably. Just trust me. Just don't. Not worth.
What's uh, your source? What? What's your source besides just trust me? What's my source? Yeah. I'm pretty tapped in. I have the word Arab on Instagram. So like. Okay, I got you. In that space, you know. That's a, <laughs> I feel like that's a good enough source, right? Like, Wait, Shirko, Shirko, Shirko. Yeah. Wipe your nose. Just wipe. I don't got nothing. Oh, let me take a piss. This guy's yeah, a he, fed, he, he, dude. I'm bad. It's crazy. This guy's a fed. If Sneeko's a fed? Yeah, I can feel it. Really? Why? Wait, why Sneeko a fed? Like, think about it. He's on the algorithm. Okay. Yeah. Because he's on the algorithm, he's a fed? Yeah. I can see that. Because they wouldn't promote him if he... If he Unless he's, they could he's use on agenda. he's on Chinese spyware TikTok. Yeah, he is. That's where he gets most of his views. No, I got a clip for with like eleven million views on TikTok. TikTok is like underrated, dude. I should start using that shit. For your kind of content, you probably pop on TikTok. But but if are you gonna be a Fed too? Yeah. <laughs> is it worth it? How much money do they pay? I uh, I've noticed. Uh, Anytime someone works with government, they don't get paid in dollars. They get paid in assets and stocks, right? So they can get frozen right away. Will so they get paid in like adrenochrome? No, no, that's way high. That's higher up than that's even higher than ruling class. Adrenochrome is uh, is very, very like hush hush. It's not like it's not like people on YouTube do it. But I've seen the bottle in person. I've seen it. You've seen a bottle of adrenochrome in person. Yes. Yeah. I had done, I've done um, contracted security work uh, for a Masonic Lodge. Or not a Masonic Lodge, but the whole block, which there was a lodge there. And uh, this is not related, but there's people in my city that walk in and the guy showed a bottle of adrenochrome in the... He f finished using the handicap washroom and he pulled out a bottle of adrenochrome in front of me. And then I went home. I was bouncing. I went home and... Uh, I was like, huh, that is weird. Looked into the Clinton emails where she talks about black magic like an old rabbit's foot in the attic and sacrificing a chicken to Moloch. And I'm like, I wonder how much truth there is into this. And it turns out, yes, the Democrats are very satanic. And the Republicans that go to Bohemian Grove and stand next to tall trees, they're also in on it. And that's what you got to remember is there is no people party. There's, they've won. They've won the game for thousands of years. Right? Sneeko, you're a fed. Why am I a fed? That's I mean, what you're on Chinese spyware like TikTok. You're the biggest guy on TikTok, right? I don't even have TikTok. I don't even have the app. So how do people, is it just randoms? Bro, my chat just fucks with the movement. They just repost the clips on TikTok. You think that I have this epic plan. I'm just like, yo, hey, chat, clip this up, put it on TikTok. Just like they will with this stream right now. Start fucking with me. Your clout will go up, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, well, yeah, I'm a fed. Fuck out of here, bro. I just got the system on a chokehold, bro. Sneeko, you cannot be banned from Twitch because TwitchCon's coming up. You need to come to this. This is wild. And Twitch since you're, since you degen it up sometimes, that's no, a lot of you, a lot of chicks for you too. But this guy at TwitchCon, no one else is going to watch these fucking boring streamers. <laughs> They're going to be like, oh, the crazy Sneeko guy is going live in the middle He's of the right. convention. Right. This guy, yeah. that would be a robbery if this guy came to TwitchCon. You'll have 30K live. Yeah. And dude, that's no. And remember, Sneeko, this is not YouTube money, right? Yo, chat, you, WL, should I go to TwitchCon? Absolutely. Wait, so I don't understand. So it's a bunch of nerds yeah. sitting in a circle and at a, at a convention and a thing and they all go. Sneeko, no, no, no. Sneeko, no, have like you that. ever wondered? Have you ever wondered why so many YouTubers try to come to Twitch? It's because there's a shit ton of money here. YouTube only pays the back end, PewDiePie's and those guys, right? Everyone knows that. You could easily do a robbery at TwitchCon. Don't get banned. Don't get banned. Okay, wait, but Aaron, can you explain TwitchCon for me? Like, what, what am I supposed to do there? Yeah, well, it's just a big convention with all the streamers are there. But the reality is most of the streamers aren't actually in TwitchCon. They're only in TwitchCon for like an hour or two. Yeah. It's mainly viewers. The streamers go and just hang out and party at night, whatever. They go to, the, you know, some big streamer rent a penthouse and then you get invited, blah, blah. Just, so yeah. so the main thing, you you can make trolling content at TwitchCon, like where you just go stream actual TwitchCon and there's fucking furries and shit. There's whatever. Like, IRL stream. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes. It has to be IRL. Ooh, yeah, wait, when is it? Uh the seventh or ninth of October. No, not even a month. Three weeks, two weeks. They're they're gonna try and get. They're gonna. Tr this guy's gonna get banned in that time. This guy gets banned everywhere. Like Sneeko, I'll, I'll be good. I'll be good. If there's ever a time for you to just button down, play it correct. Oh, do TwitchCon and then get banned. 
If you want to blend in, dye your hair blue. Like, just spray ha spray hair blue or some shit. Yeah. They're all colored hair. You go in there, you see all the spec the entire spectrum. And I'm sure Destiny will be there for the after parties, right? As soon as people leave the con convention, we all go to these parties. So you see all the banned people. It's actually great. Are y'all both going to be there? I'll Absolutely. be there. I'll yeah. be there for five days. Where is it? San, San Diego. Diego. The most beautiful weather in the world. Yeah. That place is something. And Sneagle, think of the middle of the convention... All these streamers right there, you go live and you just walk into their frame and rob their viewers. It's the greatest, it's the easiest thing to do. I missed out last year or last time I didn't stream. All my buddies gained like 100,000 followers and shit. All you do is walk around with a selfie stick. You don't even have to do anything and just walk into people's streams and say, by the way, I'm live. And people just pour into you. It's like... But you say that shit? You say, by the way, I'm live in their streams? Oh, yeah. I don't give a fuck, bro. I, don't, I fucking hate these people. How do they but find your stream? How do they find your stream? You're Sneeko. They're yeah, going to yeah, recognize who you fucking name. There's, there's always one person in chat, at least. And it, they spam it and everyone spams. No, no, it's a real thing. It's like, because imagine you have, what, you have 6,000 viewers right now. How many people are typing? A few hundred. So there's the people who are watching. And then when they see something or they're looking at chat, they're like, oh, fuck, that's him. And no, then Sne boom. Sneeko's not getting how big he is. You're not getting it, dude. Like, that's an easy robbery for you. And that's the one time people don't watch their favorite streamer. Because they say, will I watch my PG streamer or will I watch this Sneeko guy get kicked out of the convention? But don't get kicked. Don't jitty on it. Yeah, what happens if I run into Lasanabi there? Should I just go square up? Uh, don't probably... say that. Don't say that, dude. They'll, they'll get no, you. I'm going to be in Minecraft. Don't. He'll, he'll probably laugh. Remember, Hassan has been shook since the Sam Eyed thing. He's like, he doesn't like jokes like that. You you get there, you guys will probably have a good time together, actually. It'll probably be like two minutes of just some trolling. No, the greatest all, part is how fake people are. Everyone who hates you, Sneeko, will be your best friend. It's hilarious. Yeah, yeah, they will. They will be. Twitch is so fucking fake, man. Yeah, well, I want to pull up to this attempt. Yeah, like, it's the same as YouTube. YouTube's fake as fuck. Wait, I mean, where, where, you got a B&B? &B? What are y'all saying? I haven't, booked uh, I haven't booked yet, but uh, there's like a 22 room mansion. I can get you a place there if you don't want to pay. There's a 20 yeah, room mansion. I've, I'm about to book a spot with my homies, but but we can we'll talk. I'm I'm with it, bro. I'm, I let's go to San Diego. It. Fuck it. We yeah, outside, yeah. Chad. What do you mean? Uh, you it's gonna be sold out. You have to get it right now. The ticket. Fuck. I have you, to Twitch contact it. Yeah, you got three weeks, and it's uh, probably uh, sold out, dude. But listen, there's an event that's also not TwitchCon. It's Nick Merck's con. It's like, yeah. it's like the less liberal convention. I don't think there's masks for that, right? No, there's no masks or vaccine. Wait, there's masks at TwitchCon? Yeah. Masks and vaccine required. Oh, my God, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But, but but two hours of trolling, you'll be fine. Where's my shit keep bugging, bro? Sneeko, you're vaxxed, right? Yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, Sneeko's definitely vaxxed. No, I am. Sneeko took four boosters. Bro, I took every single booster shot. I got my vast card. Bro, I'm, I'm vast. You know, Sneeko, no one's asked you this. What the fuck happened to you? And don't downplay it. What happened to you to go not just red pill, but to go crazy red? Like, so, there is an event. There has to be. That's, that's a good question. Oh, I, I've always thought this stuff. I just kind of toned it down. You, you said it right. I lived in liberal communist New York. And so it was always, but I've always believed this stuff. Boy, it was that video you did with the old dude. Because here's what it could be. You were probably, you were probably sick of arguing the same shit and you're like, fuck it. You're going to go crazy. It's, it's one of that or something. I've always had to tone it down for other people and then f fully started realizing how brainwashed everything was. The, I think the, the, the pandemic and seeing everybody online getting canceled regularly, just not giving a fuck anymore. Just like, I don't give a fuck. I'm going to start having to, to limp for these, to, for these libs. Sneeko, since, you, since you're on the band side with Rumble and shit, and you're good at making documentaries, if you okay. did a bohemian documentary, okay. dude, you would make like $100 million taking the Alex Jones audience. Like, you're the only one who can do the documentary. You have all the skills and shit. You should lean that way. Wait, how did Alex Jones make 100 mil doing that? Well, I mean, he sells like water filters to his audience, right? Like, Alex Jones is huge. He's rich. He sells water filters to his audience? Yeah, because they're gay frogs and shit. Like, that is a huge market if you're just a businessman, you know? But I know, I know you believe it, too. You believe that they, they eat babies, right? Yeah, they do. Yeah, okay. They, they eat babies. Hillary Clinton eats kids and drinks blood to stay old as long as possible. She's going to die when she's 130. Yeah. And... They go go on islands and drink blood and do rituals and 
steal kids and they actually you know, did real traffickers. Yeah. Everyone calls me crazy. You believe in adrenochrome? And I go, do you believe in organ harvesting? And they go, yes. That's how stupid people are. It's like they believe in organ harvesting but not blood harvesting. Like, give me a break. It's the same shit. How much does TwitchCon cost? It's, it's Nico, one-minute interviews at TwitchCon. Oh, shit. One-minute podcast at TwitchCon is genius, bro. Why yeah. do you have to? Yo, this has been a good panel, man. No, no, it's not. It's no. not. No, it's not really sold out. It's that only. It's only genius if you do it. It's yeah, only genius have... if he does it live. If he does it in a YouTube format, it's not as good. If he hits live, that's do live. You chat. How many view viewers can this guy get if he was live in the middle of the convention? Oh man, I'm really getting. Interview. Wait, Arab, what did you say before you cut off? I, if you can't find a ticket, I'm sure I have people who have an extra ticket that they don't so, want to go i see one it's for the three-day um ticket but yeah. not the party do i need to get the party need, part or no the get the biggest like one that. dude get the biggest one oh yeah sneeko you're paying off your school i thought you're like a millionaire well, you're paying well, off your school right not gonna be at the partner party we'll be at the party. he doesn't need to be at the partner lounge yeah so the party's a useless ticket oh right? no, that party is like kind of useless right yeah, it's like it's like a, probably it might be some concert they have across the fucking thing at a venue. So, so they can I just get the right? All the cool parties are probably at houses, right? They're yeah, not even party. Yeah. Cool parties well, you do, you're getting a ticket to. There is no such thing as a cool party because a hundred viewer Andes go to these. Like everyone is invited. Like you, you know what I mean? No, no, no. He, he's he's saying like the the ones in penthouses and shit. Yeah, yeah. You don't no, need to pay for that. For the yeah. ticket right now, the three days you don't, available. You don't need to buy a ticket. I don't need to buy a ticket. No, you get the three day ticket. You don't get the party ticket. Okay. But you need a Twitch account. It's a, it's a, it's. Whoa, 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 whoa! Check Aiden Ross's stream. They got sent the leak. What is the leak? Oh shit! Whoa, whoa. Pull up his stream. I'll pull up his stream. Sa leak. Another one. What? Aiden Ross touched the city. No, it's about those guys who were just on call. Hassan and all those guys, Miz, and Crazy Slick. What is the leak, I dude? I don't think they did. Uh, God, it's, it. it's cool though. It's cool. What the fuck is this world coming? Why to are we coming now? at each other when we? It's a really us. Against the other part of the community, like no, bro, we're not against we, nobody, bro. No against, not we're a, just on not the against, not against, baby, not against, but like d differentiated, like we're in different. Oh, we got okay, okay, okay. We got baited. I didn't get baited. We got that. Nah, nah. Yeah, yeah, we got baited. Well, it was, yeah, it was we. <laughs> wait, wait. So, are you buying this ticket? Yeah, I'm buying it right now. I just put in my pronouns. Huh? <laughs> yeah, see, I twitch gun. I'm just, I just, oh, I'm, I'm clicking the they them section right now. <laughs> oh, that's I does it let you put other? Um, yes, it does. I'm pretty sure I literally put attack helicopter on that. Oh, you could type it in. Oh no, yeah. it just says other. Yeah. You can't. It's other. Okay, that's yeah, what it's other. Right, I'll, I'll go with they them. That's more. Get that's the more discount. Me. The code is George Soros. Are you serious? No. Yeah. There, <laughs> <it is. laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. emergency contact yeah, name. Put Can I, let me put you as an emergency contact. I'm gonna put John Jerko. Yeah. I'm gonna put your phone number. Oh shit! I can't even text you. You're banned on Twitter, right? Yeah. Here, I'll send you my. What's, it, what's your Instagram? Uh, I'll send I'm, you guys I'm, each number. I'm, I'm send you guys each numbers. I'm, I'm permanently banned from Instagram for fight videos. God damn. It. Yeah. Here, I'll add you. Do you use Discord? Yeah. I mean, not enough, but yeah. I'll be on that. There was John, this. There's John, this, I, dude. I spoke, I to, yo, Arab, bro. I spoke to a fake Sneeko for a week because this guy said he's gonna get on my shit, and I spoke to a fake Sneeko for a week, and then at the end he's like, uh, "Yeah, I'm not a real account," and that's why I'm like shook. The same profile pic and everything. I sent you his number, John. Yeah, Arab. So we were, were supposed to do uh, an IRL stream. For, bro, I'm still in. I'm still in. Yeah, we were gonna do something political, right? A not oh uh, like a like a troll a political troll yeah, in DC yeah yeah, yeah. DC would I, don't, be... I don't get too into politics I don't give a fuck about politics I just make fun of situations no going but, live in front of the White House would be great I mean I'm down to go live in front of the White House and do a, a troll it's like a political troll yeah 100 percent I'm down like this is the closest I get to politics is sitting here just listening to you guys and, and cracking some fucking jokes like I know y'all are super political I'm just I just make jokes bro I'm just a comedian yeah, I don't, I'm, I don't I'm joking think, the whole time too I don't believe in politics I don't think Steve goes that political actually you know. He, Sneeko can cast the widest net because he's more a comedian, right? Yeah, I, I was uh, the stand-up comedian before COVID. Then the COVID lockdowns hit, and I stopped going up on stage. I haven't been back up. I've, I've been afraid. Uh, stand-up comedy? Yeah. Yeah, that shit's, I haven't done that before. 
That's, yeah, that's, that's the most actually, nerve-wracking thing. I did pretty well. There's a set on my Instagram. Um, I, I made some strides in it too, but twi- this this makes way more money and this is way more fun. Like you get to tap into your actual audience instead of going in front of drunk millennials all night. What's the deal with Bumble? It's like fucking shut up. <laughs> this is the joke that everybody does at stand-up. It's like, uh, hey, anyone on the apps? Anyone on the apps? Uh, I'm on the apps. Tinder? Uh, Grubhub? Shut up. <laughs> that, that is terrifying. Stand-up comedy sounds terrifying. I want to do it. I want to sell out stadiums eventually, bro. No, because anyone can just be funnier the, than the comedian. All they have to say is, you fucking suck. And it's all nah. over. <laughs> nah, if you're a good comedian, you shit on them. Yeah. That's well, if. That's the if. That's the thing, yeah. But like, if you're a good comedian, you'll, you'll make that. All right, so we're seeing Sneak at TwitchCon. That's the final just thing. Just bought it. Uh, got confirmed. Do you have a setup to IRL stream? No, I'll cop that before. Send me a, a link to that too if you can. Wait a minute. Sneak Come on. Sneak have some respect. I'll send you the CEO's number. Arab, you have not done my show right. yet, have you? Please, bro. No, what's your show? Uh, I did with Heel Mike. I get 10 baddies dating show, oh, and it's show. a lover host. And you guys both need your own episode where 10 girls fight to get the number one spot in your life. Really? I'm down. Yeah, you guys would be hilarious, dude. Friday. I'm d- I'll lock you in for Friday. Okay, yeah, let's let's do Friday. Sneeko, okay, let's you- stop networking. We got to like, get the whole chat. We're just talking like this is a face. What do you say? Sneeko, you got to do my show. I get 10 girls. They choose either love or host, but they pretend they like you and they can take the host or they actually like you and want to meet you and they choose love and you have to find out which one's the sneaky bitch and kick them out. No, no, no. And- yeah. Should we should we be us on this show or should we put on like a character? No, no, I can be, no, Arab oil. No, be yourselves, dude. Be your, you guys are way funnier like that. Like you guys just be yourselves. And I I I know for the red pill guys, you guys will find the right girl. I know it. Wait, wait, why they always choose love? Well, that's the thing. If they choose host at the last round, the last the, the finalist. Bro. If she chooses host, she's like, oh, I really like you, Arab. But she chooses host. I have to host her. And she just steals everything and starts her stream. But if she chooses love, then everyone <laughs> says you guys have strong judgment. Like you guys, I stole the whole idea from Austin show. Let's be honest. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I know that. You got but- 10 girls? You got 10 girls to do it? I'm down. Yeah, I got 96 girls, uh, uh, new girls that I, I got to I gotta. No, use no, but, listen, but don't pick ugly ones, please. Like I know sometimes on those shows, like make sure, they're 10, make sure they're 10, six and a half pluses. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Six is okay too. Six is okay. I'll be a whiskey or two deep. So, but isn't every girl beautiful? Yeah, in their own way, for sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah, in their own way, yeah. But like at the same time, if I'm trying to love a chick, I want to be attracted to her physically. So, yeah, yeah. No, love doesn't exist for men. Yeah. I, wait, Tommy's about to go live. Let me see if he'll fucking join. Let we me need, call him one more we time. need Tommy to in it. Work. Get Tommy no, no. in it in here. Yeah, get Tommy in it here. Tommy in it. I don't have his number. Sorry, I'm not tapped in the Minecraft community. Kai, okay, he denied it. That means he's he's there. You guys want Tristan Tate in here? Yeah, have yeah, I love here. Tristan. Bring, bring no, him in here. I have a message to him. I gotta tell him that I'm the guy that made out with a chick in front of fucking on that on that stream. You're gonna hold on to that for the rest of your streaming career. Yeah, for sure. I want to go do an IRL stream with him, bro. I feel like I love Andrew a lot more when he's next to his brother. Like that's the first time I loved them. Is like the first clip I ever saw. Because I kept skipping clips, and then when I saw them together, I'm like, oh, I love these two. They share their bank account. They share everything. It's a beautiful thing. They have women in underwear. Yeah, they don't share women, right? No, I think Andrew's funniest thing he said was, I wouldn't give CPR to a dude because that's gay. I didn't even know he said that. That was the funniest thing that he got in trouble for. It's clearly a joke. You see the G2 shit? You see G2 got in trouble for... Uh... Oh, Miss Kiff was on by the way. He made another tweet. He said, Whoa. I want to make it clear the harassment is about the Discord logs and comments Slick made towards every girl who came forward. Slick sexually assaulted Adriana and there's no excuse for her. Story deserves to be told. I'm glad she was able to share it fully. But isn't he the one who tried to cover it? Well, now he's taking the I'm a ally route. Isn't that crazy? It's all a grift. It's all just PR. I mean, what would you do? if you in that, Wouldn't you do the same shit if you're in that situation? look look let me here's what i'm gonna tell you if my childhood friend like you know got into some trouble and fucking killed someone like i'm not calling the cops on him yeah but these aren't childhood friends i understand that, <laughs> that argument. these are twitch streamers 
listen, listen. I don't, I don't, I don't. I'm just saying, like, if if I grew up with a dude, okay, and he did some crazy shit, and he came and told me, it's like, all right, that's. You get it, but th these are these are fucking Twitch streamers. These are not child. You can't make that comparison. Yeah, I don't. That's why I don't fuck with Twitch streamers closely. I don't fuck with them. Yeah, don't trust YouTube anyone. streamers though. Huh? But YouTube streamers. I just, but I'm super safe, bro. I'm super safe around people. If they're not my fucking Lebanese homies, I'm super safe around. Yeah, you're gonna find out at TwitchCon every conversation you have, someone's pocket. It's be fake. They're po no, they're pocket recording you. Oh really? Yeah, 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 so yeah. Sometimes streamers. I think it was really? was it Destiny who's like say the n word to another streamer. Say it, say it, and he's like pressuring him. And that was me to Destiny. No, no, Destiny did this to Nim. He didn't tell you. No, I've been telling Dusty to say the N-word every day, but he doesn't. Oh, yes, he okay. does. <laughs> um, do they actually pocket record? Yeah, yeah, uh, especially if you're around the more political guys. Everyone has dirt on each other through, like, recording. That's why I say, like, you know, if you're not going to make the joke live, don't make it at TwitchCon. Probably, yeah. That's what's so great about being mixed, bro. You, you, well, no, I've gotten in trouble still, but with the islamic community and, and the, bro they played the clip of me singing the jewish song in the senate committee did you see that what the, the, the I senator saw that. I saw that. the senator of michigan played a clip of me going i was with nick fuentes and he was talking about who really did 11 9 ironically um he's talking about like wtc7 stuff like that and afterwards i go have uh have and they play they, they're probably watching right now like i probably shouldn't have done that but yeah this might end up in a senate committee hearing it was it was basically this Yo, was a disco oh, call. Yeah. A aoc you're kind of hot by the way if you hear this like i'm down you a so hot tamale <laughs> I'll, I'll, I would. I would. AOC, he's toxic. I, w I would treat you right. AOC, I will. I will fucking. Mm, whatever you want. AOC, yeah, I, AOC I wouldn't yeah. touch you with a 10 foot ball. No, no, come on. Come on. I'm kidding. She's great. She's just. I just uh, love uh, AOC Green New Deal. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm about to get out of here. I'm about to go farm some reaction videos. Yeah, yeah, enjoy your enjoy your shit, bro. Uh, see you at see TwitchCon. You, see you well, at TwitchCon. before that, but see you at yeah, TwitchCon. Let's make a group chat and shit like that. It was great to meet you, Sharka, finally. Yeah. I think I, we, let's do another one-on-one -on -one call. My chat was fucking with you. Chat WL and Jerka, and also Arab, too. No, nah, okay. yeah, your chat probably hates me. Arab, too. No, they're fucking with you. They're fucking with Arab. You can what? talk. They're, they're saying W Arab right now. There's, there's a couple L's. <laughs> TwitchCon will be good, though. We'll make some good shit. All right, and you like, like let me know where you want to stay. To, where you're staying with the? Uh, if I, sh I gotta figure out a copy. Yeah, we'll text all that. Sneeko, let's do let's do that dating show. Uh, I got Arab Friday. Let's do you Thursday. It's on Discord or real life? Discord. Hear me out. This guy real life. Uh, this I'm guy's right. trying to pipe. <laughs> no. no, you get to meet them at TwitchCon, Sneeko. Like it's it, it's it's good to do the show right now. All okay, right. Everybody. We'll talk. We'll talk. I have another idea too. We'll talk. We'll do a bunch of shit at TwitchCon. I right, make a group chat. Bye. Yeah. They both leave at the same time. How rude is that? All right. What's the leaks though? Did Aiden actually? I feel like I predicted it, but if I didn't predict it, I'm gonna pretend that I didn't say shit. Did I predict it? 